Right, Sean, just talk us through what you're doing with these stepped trays. Uh, what I'm doing is... You start off with one of these in the bottom with a weep hole at the end. On the end, that's right. And what I'm doing is I'm putting this on. It's 150 where the heel meets it. Six inches, which is about there. I know that heel, which is this. And that inch is a six inch mark. I know that's 150 off this uh, dummy rafter. I know that then is bang on from the flashing, the lead flashing. So it can't be actually, you know, it can't be wrong. It will be wrong. That's perfect. Well, that's the best way to do it that we find. So your next one will go where? Uh... Your next one. Go. Off the square. Off the square, and that will go six inches. Bang on the ear. I'll leave my next one there. So you literally could mark that off, and that'll go into there. And then all you do is put your cuts on the back side, which we will do with the block splitter because these bricks cut really well with that. Or you can do it with this brick hammer, whatever you want. But, uh, that is just the job then. And that's how you do preformed trays when you're doing a uh, anything like, like this that's got a roof line um, that is the best way to do it get it set up like this so if any of you out there bricklayers uh, trying to guess putting a dummy rafter up against it yourself sure and trying to which a lot of people do because you don't get your rafters made up like this make sure that you get the joiner over and put this in place if you don't have this in place, then you're asking for trouble. They'll have you knocking out your step, your step to trays and try and put them right and put them into the roof line. If you do like this, you are covered. Belt and braces. There's no, there's no way that anyone can say that you're wrong, uh, and you can walk away from that knowing that you've done a good job. I like that. That's wrong, that is. <laughs>